Okay, so we're going to be getting started in just a moment here. I think everything's ready. You. Uh, awesome. hello? <laughs> you, Mooney, what's up? Yo, what's up, Ben? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. Um, yeah, Super Mike, I'm talking of Legends of SMW. Paku got a 122 tonight. So this is yes. your Yes! He got a 122, 56, if I'm correct. Yeah, he did. 56, 31. Exactly, with that long, very long grind for that 122. And listening to what he was saying earlier on his stream, he says that he doesn't know if he wants to give up quite yet. So... I think it's gonna be exciting. Also, Xpaco, I was watching him practice 11 Exit, and he was getting some really solid runs. And he's gonna need them I get in this race against Retro Bob, probably getting the best races, um, pro oh, the best runs of the tournament, showing the probably one of the mo most consistent runners. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. What's up, guys? Welcome, everyone. Yeah, I'm definitely okay. looking forward to seeing where Paku takes 96 exit. I mean, he'd been grinding so long for the 122 and it's so well deserved. So good to see him with it. But it looks like we're basically ready to go here and we're off. Oh, we are? Guys, good luck to the <laughs> runners. My, my, this is going to be a big one. I need to refresh my streams. No worries, I will get these guys introduced. Not like they need much of an introduction. But oh geez, on the left, did Retro Bob have... go offline? On the left, we have Retro Bob um, with a PB of 1040. And on the right, we have X Paco with a PB of 1040. So it could get much closer <laughs> than that. Uh, both at the moment are taking the shell with them in YI2. Interesting. So Bob no longer with the shell. Paco just opting to kill the uh, charging chuck at the end with the shell. Interesting. So oh. just a reminder that this uh, match is a best of three. So we're going to see at least two races from these runners. And this is actually the last best of three match we have in the winner's bracket. Uh, the next phase is the best of five. So it's going to be the semifinals, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's actually a good point, and this will be our final uh, quarterfinals match as well. So after this, we're going to have a full bracket of semi-finalists. Um, one of these guys will be joining uh, Aaron, Silverstar, and somebody else. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, Seathorn. Of course, Seathorn. No, yeah. not Seathorn. Not Seathorn. I, I no, it's, it's Silverstar. No, it's Silverstar oh, three. against Louis. I can't... Louis? How did I forget Louis? He's yeah, it's... <laughs> it's Silver Star against Louis and ah. Era 51 versus the one who wins this match. So it's gonna be really exciting. Sorry, Seathorn. Uh, but Bob getting a beautiful shell jump oh. there. Very, very nice. Oh, Both man. went for it. Um, so Bob will be gaining about half a second here over a missed attempt from Paco. Pocular. You hear a Paco? Yeah, Paco with uh, he he always likes to keep his mic on when he races. <laughs> it, that's pretty interesting. So let's yeah, see who goes for the riskier strats here. They both go for a kind of safe uh, kid strat. Oh, that was too. Both too getting hard. a two eighty one. So you'd mentioned that Paco likes to keep his mic Jesus. on, and um, maybe. Maybe the reasoning for that is it's a nice way for him to vent. Uh, one of the best races I'd ever done was whenever I commented my own race and it was basically just me, just me venting. Just like, okay, I feel little, I need to do better. You know, just going a wee bit nuts. Uh, but that's possibly why. Not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna switch to Bob's audio because of that. I'm just waiting to see what happens on the restream. Uh, 
I've lost the light. So yeah, both oh, runners oh. with a really clean world one, yeah. <laughs> yeah both are wild. insanely close here, as you would expect. Uh, Bob may be still no. very marginally ahead, but there's absolutely nothing in it. Yeah, Paco's room one was absolutely awesome. Yeah, a little bit faster than Bob's, but still getting that 281. Pretty sure Bob got one as well. Uh, and between runners like these, flight speed is going to be important. I think Bob might have a good flight speed. I'm, I feel like Paco does as well. Uh, we've all learned just how... I actually feel is. like Bob has a bit better flight speed. Yeah, I think so. I believe he'll be coming out on top in this. Yeah. Yeah, and pretty much as you said. One in game second, not a lot of time, but it's gonna make a difference for sure. But getting a little bit of advantage there. One in game second faster. I've actually gotten pretty decent at seeing flight speed. Something I'm proud of. <laughs> Especially in this, especially in this category, it definitely doesn't come easy. It takes a lot of just, I don't know, just seeing and getting used to. Okay, so oh. Bob here is struggling a little bit there to get into that pipe out of dry room, and then loses his shell. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. He's reasonably well backed up, but and he struggles. Yeah, there with that key. That was a bit of a shame. Whoa, and Paco was insanely close to that boo ring, almost similar to what we saw from Chagos, uh, getting hit there in the same way. Thankfully he got out of there unscathed. I was watching Xpaco practice before uh, before the race started, and he was getting some 370s, uh, 370 big blue doors. And I said I was gonna call him out if he got a 369. And here's your call out, Xpaco. We're not saving those strats for the race. <laughs> but yeah, Bob as well with a really clean door in Secret House. So at the end, Bob jumped against the wall, probably was hoping to get the, the wall clip in the cutscene, which is one of my favorite things ever. Yeah, I would say like a difference of like less than five seconds. Okay. Ooh, but Bob will have a chance here. Saving a little bit of time there. I think they're oh I think Bob is only like one second behind now. Probably a little bit less. Yeah, he's brought this right close again. Um I mean those zips were very well executed. The second one just a bit off, but still got it and that's the main thing. It'd be very, very hard to recover that and, and he did. Paco with a very nice dive under, but was a bit slow on the key. Bob probably will have made up a bit more time again. Both of them getting that clean and sleek 192 in Star Wars 3. Yeah, it's such a nice strat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like Bob was like one second ahead of Bob. It definitely feels like it may be in retime territory, but we'll just see. Back with what seems like a really good flight speed here. Yeah, he gets that 272 and Bob gets it as well. Yeah, both right in the top end of 272 as well. Um, it's quite lenient to get a 272 there, but both with good flight speeds. Oh, oh my 
my god. <laughs> Paco. Okay, this is perfectly synced for me now. Um, they'll both be going for room five. No surprise there. But look, <laughs> just how insanely cool this is. I am, I am, I am, I am clenching. That final boss. boss. Yep. Paco, Paco is probably behind now. What seems like just a little bit, but it might, like, I feel like we could still be in retime zone. Oh, we'll yes, see. <laughs> if but... both their fights go pretty much as planned, this is a retime. Dear Lord. <laughs> that was something. Whoa, and a really, really swaggy first hit from Retro Bob. I haven't seen that before, but I love it. That was so cool, grabbing that second Mecha Koopa in midair. Probably taking that from uh, the Cloud Kill, where you'll be trying to grab Mecha Koopas in midair. <laughs> Louis, yes. Oh my word. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a read time. Both so far having very, very nice Bowser fights. I mean, is a case of we can ask Paco if he wants a retime if necessary, you know, if, if the lead doesn't change, because we do still have two hits in it. Um, we've seen quite a high fail rate on this very good final hit. I hope we don't see it, but it takes a lot of character to just... No, yeah, down. for sure. And... Um, yeah. Pretty sure that's a big GG's for Retro Bob. I mean, big GG's for both of them, obviously. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to head over to the SRL room and see. Well, in SRL, there's a one second difference. Uh, Retro Bob, one second ahead. I'll just ask Paco if he wants a retime. And if not, we can continue on, I guess. Yeah, that was incredibly close. GG's to both of them. I'm pretty sure Paco is okay, uh, like letting Bob win. He doesn't want to retime. Pretty sure. Uh, did he say that in the stream? Yeah, yeah he did. All I'm right. Pretty sure he's replying to you. I think he wants a retime now. <laughs> He's changing his mind.
Okay. Okay, he does want the retime, um, Paco. But these two guys, I mean, they're just incredible. What's the verdict? Do we definitely need to retime? Yeah, Expago wants the retime. He wants to uh, keep, keep going, but he does want the retime. But do we want to do the next race, then get the retime, or what? Who's okay. doing it? Okay, what we'll do is a provisional 1 0 in the Paco. We can do a retime in the meantime, but they can start their race. But I think we feel fairly confident Retrobuff did actually win this one. But okay. um, I think it's good to know. I, I do think it's good to know for sure. Um, I mean, it is it is his request. Uh, it's within one second, so I guess it's not unreasonable. So congrats to both. Um, sort of preliminary result. Congrats to Bob, probably. Uh, but also congrats to Paco, because it was insanely close. Um, do you know who's going to retime it? Uh, I'm just going to ask now. I think Dots is on it right now, guys, so I don't know if we're actually going to go on to the second race and retime while that happens, or if we're going to get the retime um, before. Yeah, so... that's the approach that we're going to take. We're going to go on to race two, simply okay. because we feel fairly confident that Bob won, but it's a case of just verifying that result. Uh, so like I said, preliminary GG, the Retro Bob, uh, probably 1-0. But you know, it's just it's one of those things that you could potentially play someone. Oh, my 100% sure that I actually lost that. Um,
Also, folks, I suppose while I have you all here, uh, we actually have another match coming up tonight. It was only scheduled about half an hour ago, and that's oh, that's going to be at 10 p.m. Eastern. Wow, that's actually quite late for me. Uh, that's going to be between Dots and Idabs, uh, but I'm definitely going to be catching that one. Dabs recently with 10:41, which is just an insanely good time. Um, oh wait, I think that's right. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe it's a 10:40. I don't know, actually. Um, all my memories of the last 100 races are just, like, one. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it feels like they're about... They're getting ready to go. Uh, Should be starting soon. We just need Bob to join the race room. Uh, both are ready up, and then we're good to go. Yo, Super M thirty seven Smashola. Sorry for the waiting time, guys. Just like if Paco wants to read time, we need something that we need to do, even though if even though it might be clear. That Bob one. They are both setting up for the next race. Okay, I've given the heads up to the runners. We should be getting started very soon here. Looks like we're going to get started within the next 10 seconds of me saying this. Yeah, on my screen, they're already gone. <laughs> oh, here we go. That low latency. It's a beautiful thing. But yes, welcome back to race two of our best of three. Uh, last race was within the second. I think we feel fairly confident that Retro Bob took down the first one, but we are in the process of a free time. So we will get back to you on that one. But yeah, good luck to both runners anyway. Um, that last one was insanely good. It's a really good watch. Yeah. Xpaco losing some time, Retro Bob gaining some time. It was a very, like they were losing time. One was losing time and the other one was winning time. It was extremely close. Came down to that, that those final bosses in Bowser's Castle. So we can expect a really good race from this guys. Okay, both looking very good in why this we would expect. Both look, yeah, both uh, getting 259s, no problem at all. Um, looking forward to seeing how Y4 goes because both both of them attempted shell jumps last time. Uh, Retro Bob got his. Paco getting very close as well, but quite make it. Um, both go for it, and neither of them quite gets it. So yeah, both with exactly the same result this time. Both getting that clean 275 into Iggy's castle. Now, I'm, I wonder if one of them is gonna go a bit riskier.
We're, we apologize about the spoilers. We are a little bit ahead. And we're trying to delay as much as we can. <laughs> Okay, so um, Xbox here with a really clean uh, 241 Iggy and Retro Bob getting hit in the Iggy fight, um, losing his flower and getting a 234. So, so there we have it. We have official confirmation from Dots. Thank you so much. Dots always being a really amazing person. Always. <laughs> All those to the final boss. Yep, so, Sniper, unfortunately, wait. if not for that uh, door too. So yeah, Xpaco now slightly ahead, but uh, Retrobob also like behind Xpaco and he doesn't have a Fire Flower. So he's probably going to go from room 7. Wait, 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 what happened? I looked away for two seconds. <laughs> So Retro Bob got hit by Iggy in the Iggy fight. No. He lost his Fire Flower. Yep. Well, I mean it's a very minor mistake, uh, but it's just so costly in these scenarios. Yeah, ends up getting a 234 Iggy, while Xpaco gets the clean 241. Retro Bob, like five seconds, between six and five seconds behind X Paco. Yeah, Sniper, exactly. Um, and he won't be going for safe door five, he'll simply just go for seven. I'd be very surprised if he did do door five. Retro Bob almost getting hit by that first whirring. Really spoopy. And Xpaco gets a 368 door, and Retro Bob getting a 369, saving a bit of time there. Not too much, but you know, all of those time saves count. Well, Silver. Well, Silver, I suppose that's very accurate. He could go for the cape in Star World. Um, I'd sort of love him if he did that, but it's insanely hard, and I don't know if that's something he's practiced. I was watching Dots practice that a few weeks ago, and it was incredibly scary. Yeah, I remember that. X Baco struggling a little bit there with that first sip. Um, gets that second to clean though, uh, but Retro Bob getting clean sips again, so saving some time there. Yeah, so keeping it close, uh, these two are just a bit closer now. I have a feeling he's probably just going to go for room 7 because he was running this uh, category so much whenever room 7 was the standard. Room 7 is going to feel comfortable to him. But then again, someone like Bob, you can probably assume quite rightfully that most things in SMW are feel pretty natural. So yeah, Retro Bob, like three seconds ish behind. Now a little bit more. Struggles a little bit there to get that uh, key in Star Wolf 3. 
it's gonna cost them like a second. Or a little bit less, but... So Paco will have quite a nice buffer going in the front door. Um, but you know, it isn't loads. One mistake, all that would need to uh, turn this around, but... Um, just because of how insanely good these guys are, it is in a way Paco's race to lose. What yeah, is score? What is Bob's score? It's like a three second difference. Ex Paco not getting that door flight again. Wow, that door too is definitely rigged. That is really, really unfortunate because, yep, Bob, doing it, no problem. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. Yep, yeah, and we were just having to hold that back because simultaneously, uh, Paco uh. was that door slightly and, uh, and Bob had a really nice room seven, as predicted. But, uh -huh. If that last one was a retime, this one is an even bigger candidate, I think. <sighs> sort of oh, my days. With two players like this, it almost should be best of five, but... Unfortunately, this will just be a best of three. This can come to who has more insta hits. Absolutely. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I am clenching, Ben. I don't know if you are, but I am. It's uh, it's it's pretty crazy. I mean, you can't expect less, though. Oh, Paco is at least one second ahead, Luis. I... Oh, really? Paco always does that really spooky hit one in phase two. It always scares me. I feel like he's gonna throw them to the left of Bowser. Yeah. It is quite unique. <laughs> Although Mike says that he thinks Bob is slightly ahead. No, I think like Paco's slightly ahead. I do feel like Paco might be marginally ahead, but wow, this has just been insanely close again. Someone oh, think that we're gonna need him. <laughs> oh, you need to add 2.2 to Bob's timer. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I'm thinking that definitely is a retime now because... I luckily for Paco, he actually landed that hit after getting hit. Uh, but wow. Wow, I nearly... Um, oh my god. <laughs> that... That getting hit there is... He could've... We don't know. We definitely need a retime. Yeah, we do. Let's let um, me... Clear winner? I don't know, it was definitely way closer than last time, like insanely closer. <laughs> well, I'm, I've got a feeling that Bob might be using that retime, you know? Oh wait. so close it really is close uh, i would just encourage you all that can't just take the restream sync for granted now obviously the timers are going to tell you a lot in this case um i i feel like i feel like paco probably did win that but that's within half a second for sure yeah dots is already on it so we should be going we should be getting that result pretty soon Keeping DOS busy, um, but we're just gonna we're just gonna make a couple of adjustments to the restream, so we will be right back, folks.
I muted your keyword. I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm commentating, but I, I need to like be on it as well, making sure the runners are getting ready. Telling dogs he needs to read time another run. <laughs> Dude, Mike, that's a really good question. My thumbs always, like my left thumb, the one that goes on the D-pad, always, always hurts when I play SMW for too long. Um, possibly with a softer D-pad. Um, I mean, the more important thing probably would be what D-pad works for you better. But whenever I was using my hard D-pad with uh, Tetris for SNES, my my thumb was completely destroyed within an hour because you're like trying to tap, trying to tap left and right really, really fast whenever it gets to the higher speeds. Um, yes, you could also play on keyboard. <laughs> um, Yeah, exactly. Uh, with all the with all the kaiju that Super Mike does. Well, folks, we have another official result. Retro Bob with a ten forty seven point three six, and Paco with a ten forty six point five six. We're going to race three boys. Oh my girls. goodness! You know, I need to say, what an honor to be commentating this race. So cool to, to give commentary to, to races that are like this extremely hype, where like n neither me or Ben can like spoil anything and we're just nervous here. So, so good. No, Fico. Fico, that's bad. <laughs> so we should get going pretty soon.
Pretty sure the races are readying up. And the stream should be coming back soon. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> yeah, so we should have that sync a lot closer now, uh, just for the commentators. But wow, who, well, I mean, who would have expected, like everybody, but it's went to one each. So um... This will be the final uh, race between these two. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, it's been... It's been great. Can't wait to see the last and final race of this best of three match between Xbox Five and Retro Bob. Reminder that the winner of this match will go against Area 51 in the semifinals. Um, and uh, this is the last um, match that is best of three. From semifinals on, semifinals and finals are best of five. So, because because the competition gets way harder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that best of five, I think, was a very good move by Dots, and it just helps eliminate some of the insane variants in this category. And it should it should um, give some. Pretty decent results. That's the money, money, money. And we're going. Yes, good luck to both runners on race three of this best of three. Um, it's just been amazing. I don't want, I don't know what to say. I am so excited. Their timers almost synced in on my screen. Well, we don't need to worry so much about uh, the delay. Um, Fitz has been doing a very good job of that. And thanks again to Fitz for the quality restream. Uh, it's really, really appreciated. Yeah, thanks, Fitz. Thank you to all of the restreamers. You guys, piece of the tournament, in my opinion. Yep, walk, death, bits, um, dots you and I've been... done a bit of restream. Yeah. <laughs> Commentary is more my thing. I think I'm about 70% of matches right now. <laughs> Which is just awful, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> that is, I mean that's dedication, Ben. We always love having you in commentary. Thank you very much, and it's always a pleasure having you. Thanks. Fan favorite. Yeah, I don't know why. Mm. <laughs> I love you all. You all are great. It's always fun to commentate. And it's also so weird because I've been uh, watching so many of these runners from a long time now, and like to finally comment on my first SMW journey is kind of crazy. Well, Shint ZL, I'm sorry if I pronounced that badly, but after those double shell jumps, uh, that could be quite a convincing argument. This is quite a start to this run uh, for both of them. Yeah, Chintel, they're not, they're different strings. <laughs> also, what's up, Chintel? Long time no see. Yeah, I don't know why I pronounced that so weirdly. But yeah, really nice start for both of them. Both of their room ones looking pretty good again. Oh, and just keeping it so, so close. So I imagine after the last time, Bob will hope uh, to make up for that mistake in Iggy last time. Um, the butt slide strap being something that he's very, very good at. But both of them with a very nice Iggy and a very nice Iggy fight. Yeah, both getting 
those 241s, extremely clean, extremely tight as well. Yep, there's pretty much nothing separating them. Uh, both got shell jumps, both got 261s, or 261s, what? Uh, 259 <laughs> and uh, really nice Iggy's, like you mentioned. So if I'm correct, Retrobop starts with the minus 2.2, right? Yeah. Okay. So Paco's timer should appear to be about two seconds. Yo, Furious, thank you so much for the big host. You guys are in for a treat uh, because we have two of the best runners facing off against each other in race three, and it's one each. And it's one each, and both of the races were retimed. They were. So you're yeah, in for a treat. Retimed, you're right. It's Retro Robert. <laughs> Yo, welcome everyone from Furious Stream. Okay, I'm looking very or looking forward to these uh, DS ones. Again, it's a very technical level, very tough to keep your shell to the end. Both of these guys have been doing pretty well in DS1 this evening. Oh, uh, unfortunately, Bob just losing uh, shell on the very last fish. Yeah, getting uh, a fish is the worst. It really is the worst of all of them. My goodness. <laughs> Always oh. keeping those boo rings. Ex Baco almost getting hit by that boo ring. Doesn't get the, the boost, the D boost in the boo ring, so he almost gets hit. And a very nice room too for both of them. I just want this race to be even closer than the last two. <laughs> I don't, it makes me nervous. <laughs> well, as always, Star World 4 coming up, it's going to be such an important level. Uh, but if there are any people that can get the sips consistent, it will be these guys. But there's a lot of pressure on this, so I wouldn't blame them. Plus, zips are just insanely hard. That's the other main thing. Oh no! Uh. It was interesting seeing the difference between left side and right side. Um, Bob going for left side, that's a really interesting play. I'm gonna ask him about that later. Um, he possibly just finds it safer, and if he does, he should definitely go for it. But, uh, yep, Retro Bob will be pulling into the lead just so slightly. Yeah, Xbox was getting that first zip that he was not getting on the first two races, but now doesn't get the second one that he got on the first two races. So that's that's something. So yeah, Bob on the lead now. It's actually Paco like four years ago or something now, Crazy, uh, that taught me how to do right side zip. It's funny. Don't know why I would mention that. But... <laughs> I mean, that, that's cool. <laughs> that's a thing. Interesting cut. I wasn't sure that you'd be able to react fast enough to know that, but... It's uh, interesting. Looks to me that Bob has a little bit better flight speed here. Paco um, gets that 272. Maybe Paco was just slightly faster there in the end. Uh, I think Bob got quite a low 272, just sort of missing the key block a little bit. Does go into front door with a decent lead. I mean, it's not super massive because it's these two, but... 
finally, finally gets that door too. That's good to see. Yeah, fair enough, guys. Well. Oh. What happened? I looked at Chopper one second. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Actually, oh, what? no. That is so... Ugh. Okay, so X Baco um, goes for that D boost in room five, oh. but struggles at getting the cape once he uh, gets, oh. gets the boost, and he didn't want to get thwomped, so he just left. Yeah. Still really. I guess I mean, it was a really still, clean run. This isn't over yet. Bob still needs to get a successful cape kill. Um, there are probably a couple of hits that could change the lead, but this is definitely uh, in Retro Bob's hands at the moment. Yeah. Bob has been on a really good run as well. Uh, it, it's felt really, really solid. Yeah, really, really clean run. Would be losing the shell at the very end of the S1. Yeah, Bob getting that consistency that that I was talking about on the before the race. Like, like he's been having the best runs in the tourney. Um, I'm pretty confident that he's not on BB Pit. I'm pretty confident is keeping it very optimistic. Raptor Bob has a very low 10 for me and strats you have to go far to save those last second or two. It's just insane. Yeah, Paco with a really wow. clean and no cape Bowser. And yeah, that's GG for Bob right there. That was absolutely incredible. I mean, I hope you... Look at how close this was still. Oh my word. Two of the best. And one of my favorite races so far. This has been so close. Um, sort of thankfully we don't need to read time again. <laughs> but I mean, wow. Yeah, that new cape kill was absolutely beautiful. It was flawless. Uh, he went for every hit as fast as he could, and especially that last hit, optimally, is very difficult. It's it's really hard to know what to say after you just witnessed that. Those three races were just incredible. But I imagine that we're probably going to have a quick chat with Bob and Paco. Yeah. Where is the interview? Get me those runners here. <laughs> also a thing to mention, uh, I believe now that Retro Bob has won this one, and this will apply to uh, Area 51, Silver Star, and Louie. I believe they're all guaranteed at least get the place in the tournament overall, so they actually will uh, receive cash prizes. Um, I'm wondering, do I have a link? Yes, I do have a link to the prize breakdown. I'm just going to post it in chat for anyone inter interested, because... Let's see. There. Here we go. Oh, sixth at least? That link makes me nervous, but I'm pretty sure it works. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that works. It works. Okay, that's good. Um, I think... Yeah, Bob is here. Hello? You, Bob. Is this it's Retro hot. Bob? It is. What's up? You have to be feeling pretty good about that last run. That was very good. 
good. Um, I'm still trying to get over these shakes. I was nervous. Did I mean I, I'm sort of glad in a way to hear that it happens to the absolute best. Uh, but I don't blame you. I mean, I would be. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to think of a PG way of saying that, but yeah, I'd be very nervous. Um, I mean, going into that third race, it has to feel absolutely crazy. It was crazy, and I was so afraid of doing something like I did in race two again, where I had that awful Iggy fight. Oh god, yeah, that can so easily just shake you up a bit. Um, it's just the small things like that that are prone to really uh, put you off. But I mean, I think I think it takes a lot of character to just go on, ignore that. Um, and yeah, I think that was a very, very, very good victory. Yeah, yeah that's what I did. Is. Thanks, but that's what I did too. I kind of just put it behind me. I'm like, I just got to play the best I can now and hope for something. <laughs> Yo, it's Paco. Hi, Paco. Paco. Hi. So, Paco, Paco, first of all, congratulations on your 122. Thank you. Thank you. You're an absolute <laughs> mind reader. That was going to be what I was going to say as well. 122. I mean, it's just so well deserved. Doesn't even feel right me commenting on it being uh, nowhere close to that, but you know, we nice. stand in awe as always. So, big let's, congrats. Let's, let's talk about the 122 instead of this race. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> well, you know, zips could have been better in both. <laughs> in both the race and the 122. Yeah, and Bowser too. Oh. Not hit. Well, okay. All right. I needed to win the first race. That third race, GDF. That's a that's a great run. Um, uh, yeah. That was something. <laughs> that was something. I was just concentrating the whole time. Yeah. The first you you gave me a shot in the first race, and then I blew it. I mean, yeah. big. Like, I can understand why you feel the need to win that first one. Like whenever I was going up against Louis, I was like, if I don't win the first one, it's over. Um, but I mean, you guys are just so close that it feels so likely that we'll do one one anyway. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, that was well, a three racer, no brain. I mean, there's like a fifty percent chance of it happening. For so, um, yeah. But, but it was amazing how the first two races were incredibly close. They were close. The third one was close too until I missed Stupid Kate there in door five, wasn't it? It must have been. Yeah. That run was. Yeah, close. it was. Oh, was that what happened? I saw it was close most of the way. You were ahead the whole way. Oof. Yeah, unfortunately, door five uh, was the end of that run. I didn't yeah. actually quite see it. I mean, it was just one of those things. One second, and it's like, what happened to your cape? What happened? I don't but, know. Uh, I it was number five. Wasn't? You get it. Uh, it's, it's really dumb. I hope I never do that again. I'll probably practice door five, but that was just silly, silly mistake. I think, I think in one of your other races as well, you kind of got close to the thump. You see, I've watched so many races that I remember them all as one, but I feel that that was in your second race, maybe? I don't remember. I'm always going for 77 door in door five. Yeah, that's fair enough. You got to come um, well, obviously, Bob, you'll be aware that you're going up now against Aaron. I'm, I mean, I don't know. How do you feel about that? Well, it's definitely not going to get easier from here, but <laughs> Aaron being the 11 next in master he is, I look forward to playing against him. Absolutely. Um, That's going to be another amazing match. Uh, it's only going to yeah, get I mean, more exciting. From oh, that's semis. Yeah, semis, yeah. That's the round before when it's fine. And how long do I know? How long until I know who I? Like? You have like yeah, probably quite a while. <laughs> yeah, you have like three matches to go or something like that. Okay, I'm actually interested. Um, what sort of pool of people uh, it'll be between? Because obviously, everyone that it could be is already down there. Um, who's going up here? Truman Volpe. Well, unfortunately, Volpe I think it's like C. Seathorn. Seathorn against the winner of Dabs and Dots are cool. And then 
the winner of that has to wait for the winner of TNT versus someone else that doesn't that is like four rounds behind. So you have like four yeah, you're not gonna know for like I don't even know when. <laughs> yeah, so out of everyone there, uh it could quite easily be Seathorn Dots. Dobbs has really improved his time. TNT, uh Dactyl, Umar, and then Zion and Arius are before that. So it could be any of those people. Uh Umar has played so well. Um he has been well, I think it would be unfair to say that he's an underdog, but based on his seed, he certainly is. Um, uh, and he's got some of the most consistent runs of the tourney. So yeah, it could be Omar, it could be TNT, it could be Dogs, could be Dabs, could be Seathorn. All pretty good racers. Dactyl, yeah, definitely. Um, Dactyl. Oh, wait. Wait, really? Oh, I was just... Are we around ahead? Okay. Um, it, we have actually been made aware that it's only between Fitz, Eric Maddox, and Moo Mooney. Um, so that, so that obviously won't be too long from now, then. It's... Well, no. Isn't he 157? Oh, no, it's 147. Yeah, never mind. I don't know the... what the numbers are. Yeah, no, no, no. You're going to go against Fitz or the winner of Mimuni and Eric Maddox. Yeah. yeah it's, it's it's a loser from 157 that's going to go or against Umar, TNT, and Seathorn and Dots and Dabs and all those people. So Paco, I'm not sure if you're, you're aware, but uh, this this Fitz guy, you know, he has a 1040. <laughs> and he already got a 1039 as well yesterday. Um, he's just insanely good. Um, really? If it's between you and Fitz, I want to check that out. That is going to be great. What happened? Uh, what happened, with Fitz? Ten thirty nine. Uh, he got ten forty point zero six six. I think he has second place. What was the single yeah. mistake? Also, this restream is brought to you by Fitz. Thank you very much again. <laughs> Thanks, Fitz. But yeah, um, massive, massive congrats, Bob. Uh, it's just been really, really fun competing on these races, being insanely close, and that's all we could ask for. Yeah. Well, thank you. GG's. Um, thank oh, you. Congrats, well Bob. I'm not sure if you're aware, but at the start of your third race, um, Furious hosted SMW for like 90 years, so um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, he also hosted during my race at play, um, well, it actually didn't make me more nervous, I guess. Well, maybe a wee bit, but it was really cool. But yeah, thanks so much, everybody. I've just rambled here pointlessly. But uh, thanks so much to Moni for the amazing comment. It's been so much fun hanging out. And Thank you, Ben. We're going to have another race in an hour and 20 minutes. That's going to be between Dots or Cool versus Idabs. Um, yeah, that's going to be another very close one. Uh, both with, I think, a pretty much identical PVs. I think Dots is a 1044 and IDAPS is a 1044. So, yeah, we will see you guys then. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. GG's it again. Tough run, it was a tough run, but in the end, I got the 122. Yes, Paco. <laughs> all right, all right. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.